Hello guys, welcome back. And today we'll be discussing about one really interesting topic that is really close to my heart. The topic has been an uh, inspiration to study for so long uh, in the field of statistics, chance, probability. So in high school, when I was back in high school, uh, it was like all about mathematics. I loved mathematics. Like I, I thought about pursuing pure mathematics. I used to give all the Olympiads and I used to absolutely love algebra, geometry, number theory, combinatorics, and all this were in my, you know, were uh, totally living and uh, breeding in my mind. And then um, I moved ahead to pursue my BSTAT in ISI Kolkata in statistics. And for the first few years, like first one, one or two years, like when I was learning probability, uh, this whole mathematic, there was a tug of war between this mathematical reasoning and this uh, probabilistic and statistical reasoning on the other hand side. And this was uh, like creating, you know, was it's really mind boggling because uh, mathematics is a different way of approach and statistics was has a different way of approach. Although both are built on mathematics, like statistics and probabilities, probabilities whole built on mathematics. So this difference of, you know, this tug of war and this difference between the two sides, that's very fundamental. And that, I have realized and I have in, been enlightened with the idea, of, you know, with professors' help and learning from the books, that what is the difference? So in this video, I'll be sharing my thoughts on this two paradigms of mathematical reasoning and statistical reasoning. And what are the what are the what are the difference between it? What what is really meant by it? And that is absolutely beautiful. We will learn by examples. And we will see that how it's also related to another similar concept, inductive reasoning and deductive reasoning. And there's also a similar difference between that. So I will see you in the next part of the video. And thank you for watching. Stay tuned. Bye bye. Hello, guys. Let's start discussing about the difference between mathematical thinking and statistical thinking. Uh, so we will be discussing the part into uh, two halves and understanding. Uh, also, we will understand the difference between inductive reasoning and deductive reasoning. So what is mathematical thinking? What is statistical thinking? So if you think about mathematical thinking and whatever mathematics you have done, um, it is based on only one way of thought. For example, if A is true, if A is true, then B is true. We have done only this kind of results. That is, we can denote it as A implies B. It denotes it denotes it we denote it by A implies B. Now if B is true, A may or may not be true. So this part, the other portion, is optional, like. So if it is true, we can mathematically prove it by logic. And if it is not true, we prove it by counterexample. So let me give you a real life example. So if there is rain in the, if rain happens, that means that there has been always clouds. That's true. That's the scientific reasoning. If rain has happened, that means there has, has been clouds in the sky. There are clouds in the sky if rain is happening. Otherwise, rain cannot be happening. 
but if clouds are there it does not mean that rain will you know rain will occur or rain will fall so the other part is not true now how do we show that it's simple we show one day on which it's cloudy but not raining so we show by we prove this does not happen prove by an example which we call counter example but this is not the world of probability and statistics and you may guess why so joseph h blitzstein is a professor at harvard of statistics and he has told one really interesting concept he has a one quote and he has a beautiful book called introduction to probability so one should read that for his or her probabilistic understanding so in that probability and he also has a course on youtube you can watch that so what he told is that statistics is nothing but conditional probability okay conditioning on the data we are answering some questions generalizing answering some questions of the future or the possibilities now this is how statistical thinking is so it's saying that if rain happens if rain happens then of course we know that clouds are there but mathematicians or mathematical thinking is like if clouds happen rain will never happen like there may be a possibility that rain may happen may not happen so it's not true this implies is not true but what the statistical thing or probabilistic thinking is that okay it may not be true for one day but what if out of 100 days it's 80 times it rains so they are telling in terms of a different number and different thinking that it's 80 out of 100 so it's so in this case it's 100 out of 100 and it's 80 out of 100 so this is an interesting way to think it's giving numbers to chances but this is not always true this may next date may be 81 out of 100 and one or it may be 82 out of 100 102 then and then it will be 82 out of 103 it does not change so it it's differing so but we don't know the actual chance that will happen right we will not not know the actual reason why it will happen like what's the probability of it's happening so therefore this is the idea of probabilistic reasoning that a statistical reasoning that we are computing the chance like it may not happen always but we are computing when it will happen we are trying to understand when it will happen so this is the difference so in statistics in mathematics so therefore if you want to write it in one way in mathematics we try to think whether it will happen is true or false that's it only one existence one possibility but in for any 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 statement you can say s belong s implies t but in statistics what or probability what they say is, is if s implies t yes it may not be true but we can say it's true with a certain probability certain chance false with a certain chance if this chance is going towards one like logically like it's one logic but it's not true that if the chance is one it will always occur but if the chance is one in some sense if this is p and this is 1 minus p if this p is going to one then it's kind of equivalent a bit of equivalent to mathematics you know not exactly equal to a bit of equivalent because chance one does not always mean that it will happen okay it may not happen but it's it's kind of going towards mathematical reasoning if the chance is one 
Okay. But if it's true, that means the chance is always one. This way, it's always true, but not the other way around. So the idea of this is that both are a different thought of thinking. So if you can think in terms of physics, it's this is like the probability. Of course, physics is based on like quantum mechanics. Quantum physics is based on this, like a particle and also I mean an object cannot take the existence of a particle and a wave. I was, I was, I was in a you know you know classical physics says that that I I may be wrong. I'm sorry. Please correct me if I'm wrong, but. Uh, the classical physics says that it can only be in terms of one existence type, like either true or false. But quantum physics says that it can take the form of both with certain probability. So that's a change of thought. That's the that's a, that's the elevation of thought. And I, I understood how it's done. It's done by, you know, by experiences, by data. So this is where inductive reasoning and deductive reasoning comes in. That inductive reasoning says. And what, what is inductive reasoning and what is deductive reasoning? It's very simple. So if you have data of, let's say, 202 of population of, let's say, of any of the world, and you see it's till 2022, so you find the population, write it down. So. Inductive reasoning says that in the difference between inductive reasoning is that inductive reasoning will use this population data to predict or to extrapolate to things that may or may not happen. So it's like to extrapolate to things from past data. So you have understood the reasoning here. What is the difference in reasoning? So here it's using that reasoning idea to extrapolate from past data extrapolate to what can happen in 2050 but we can know the truth once we reach 2050 so it's it's called generalizability it's extrapolating so it may be true or may not be true but we know that it may be true with certain chance and the deductive reason is this that it's so so we know the population is increasing. So we can say that the population is increasing from 2010 to 2022. So this is what the data says. So it's deductive reasoning. That is, so it's like from truth, we are getting to another truth. We are discovering another truth that's already existing. So this is deductive reasoning. We are using truths or facts to get other true facts. Like facts are always true. We are getting, using facts to get other facts. But here we are extrapolating to get to get like to generalize things that we don't know. So a clear cut example in life is that it's the same as the difference between opinions and truths and facts. So a person can give opinion on something, opinion on something. The person can tell the true facts. So the idea is that. Two persons have one person says opinion. Opinion is a generalizability based on different data, right? Two persons can have different data in their experience in life. So the opinions can vary. So the prediction, the idea of inductive reasoning is same as opinions. But the idea of reductive reasoning is same as facts. The telling a fact from another fact. This is the difference between inductive reasoning and deductive reasoning. There's a relationship, like, there's a difference between mathematical thinking and statistical thinking. Like one is from fact to fact, another is from facts to opinions. So this is the only difference. I hope you enjoyed it, guys. I'll see you next time. If you like this video, please do share it with your friends if you find it interesting. And if you like it, if you want more such videos, do support us by subscribing to this channel. Thank you, guys. I will see you in the next video. Have a great day ahead. Bye-bye.